Florida could soon become the 18th state in the nation to outlaw revenge porn. That's when someone intentionally posts personal sexual images of another person online to get back at them. And though the bill is close to becoming law, it's not as strong as advocates had initially hoped. CBS 4's Natalia Zaya reports. He truly set out to destroy me. And Marie Chiarini had the shock of her life in 2010 when she says her ex-boyfriend targeted her for breaking up with him, posting sexual pictures and videos of her online, and even selling a sexual video on eBay and sending it out. He sent a hard copy of the CD and a printout of the auction to my son's kindergarten teacher at the Catholic school he attends. She spoke to us on Skype from Maryland and explained these attacks, known as revenge porn, sent her life into a spiral to the point that she attempted suicide. And I believe that this was my life and that I had ruined my life and the only way to end this was to end my life. Police in her state said they couldn't help. They said that there was nothing they can do. You know, no crime had been committed, that basically this was my fault and I, you know, shouldn't have been so stupid. We were looking for legislation that would allow us to do something criminally. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle is thrilled the Florida legislature just approved a bill that would make it illegal to post explicit videos or pictures of someone else online without their permission. Before the new bill, the only revenge porn cases she could prosecute were those involving minors, like the case of Antonio Giansante, accused of posting pornographic images of his 15-year-old ex-girlfriend. Now, Fernandez Rundle says adult women will also be protected. The first time may be a, a misdemeanor, but you do it again, uh, you're looking at a, a felony. It's a new day for victims who have been suffering. One aspect of the Florida revenge porn bill that is not addressed are messages sent through emails and texts, meaning that someone could send inappropriate pictures or videos of you to your boss, your coworkers, even your mother without fear of prosecution. The bill also only defines the act as sexual cyber harassment if the victim's name or other identifying information is used. We can work with this, and it gives us a lot of tools we didn't have before. And Marie sees the bill as a step forward, and she encourages other victims to reach out for help and to fight back. And it took me you know, quite some time to realize and accept and recognize that I did nothing wrong, that something wrong was done to me. Natalia Gizea, CBS 4 News. If Governor Rick Scott signs the bill, it will go into effect October 1st. And to learn more about revenge porn, including help for victims, go to our website, cbsmiami.com.